1929, and the scene is downtown Minneapolis. The occasion, a three-day ceremony marking the opening of Wilbur Fauché's huge monument to himself. The pale gray stone building with the huge words Fauché carved in its sides was from that day forth a landmark, an important part of the Minneapolis skyline. The band was John Philip Sousa's and the famed bandmaster's reported fee was $20,000. Wilbur Fauché. Here was a man with utility companies in 12 states and five foreign countries, banks in both Minneapolis and St. Paul. In 30 states, Fauché owned drugstores, hotels, steamship lines, bus lines, cold storage plants, textile and shoe companies, factories. And over Fauché's desk hung a motto, why worry? It won't last. Nothing does. And it didn't last. Just days after the ceremony inaugurating his Fauché Tower came the stock market crash of 1929. The Fauché Enterprises went into receivership on November 1st of that year. A $25 million paper empire came toppling down that day. On September 1st, 1957, the 28th anniversary of the dedication of his Fauché Tower, Wilbur Fauché died at a convalescent home on the north side of Minneapolis. His body lay in the Hennepin County morgue, unrecognized for some hours, labeled simply Wilbur Fauché.